Hey guys, Rick at Healing Field Farm. Uh, today we were gonna do some more work on the chicken tractor, but it is five degrees out and we got about 30, 40 mile an hour gusts all day today. So we're gonna leave the outside stuff for tomorrow. Uh, I did get a little wood chop this morning. side and kind of take inventory of seeds and do some planning um, you know for the upcoming growing season and take a look at a few other things that maybe we're gonna order okay guys uh, inside a little, little warmer in here it is uh, quite chilly out there today and the that wind just kind of really cuts right through you so I don't need to be outside today necessarily don't have a lot of pressing stuff um, I did get some wood cut, and that's really all I needed to do outside. So, um, you know, days like today, where there isn't anything pressing, because I don't have the livestock outside yet, so there's nothing I really have to do. Um, the chickens are in here, and they're doing well, staying warm. So I'm just going to use today as more of a planning day, and this is really a good time. I mean, we're on the cusp of, you know, the end of winter, beginning of spring. So there's a lot of things you can plan out. Um, you know, I've made a to-do list of everything that we want to get accomplished as far as a chicken tractor getting built, some bunny cages getting done, uh, a chicken coop built, bunny tractor, uh, to get the greenhouse out. Um, getting the watering systems in place. Uh, I got to get the pig pen, the goat pen, uh, the a farm stand built. Uh, we are hoping to put in a pond at some point this year. Just nothing big, just something small. Uh, I'm going to get some a worm bed built, uh, greenhouse tables, some animal shelters, then bring in all the livestock, get all the plants, um, you know, seeded and, and ready and going in the greenhouse once that up. Uh, garden prep, you know, getting the tilling done. Uh, we are going to do some uh, potato towers, I think, and then do some uh, vertical strawberry plants. So we're trying not to use all the land for the garden. Uh, we're trying to get creative, and there's a lot of different ways to do that. So, so that's really our big goal, um, knock out as much of those uh, things on the list as we can. So right now, I'm just kind of going through the seeds of what, we, what we've got. And we will get more, but um, we do have a good um, variety to start us off. And then uh, we are going to order like fruit trees. I still got to get seed potatoes. Um, we'll probably get some more sunflowers. So, but I mean, we've got our squash, uh, a couple different kinds, spinach, uh, cucumbers for pickling, um, some peas, a couple different kinds, parsnip, uh, onions tomatoes, we got some cherry, some Roma for sauces, and then butternut squash, that's my favorite, a uh, couple different carrot mixes, and some beefsteak tomatoes, which are great on sandwiches, um, we did get some corn, and we got about four varieties of sunflowers, and what we're doing with the sunflowers is we have a section of our property, um, there's a right-of-way through our the edge of our property so when that road forms it made like a little peninsula and half of its grass and then the rest of its wood so we're going to clear up the grass portion and we're going to do all our sunflowers right in that one area and then uh, you know we'll eat some of them but we'll mostly um, give them to the chickens and, and goats and stuff like that so um, just trying to grow some stuff and give it back to the animals who are doing all the work on, on the farm and then we also ordered these seeds and if you haven't ordered your seeds guys now is really the time to um, get that done because if it's anything like last year was they're going to go fast and start selling out so um, we have these we do have some others on order so uh, we got some peppers uh, cayenne peppers some more carrots 
uh, lettuce, Brussels sprouts, some more cucumbers, some kale, some more peas, radishes, and some more tomatoes. And then my wife's big on herbs, so we got stuff for the herb garden. Yep. Uh, got some lemon balm, some mint, and peppermint, chamomile, lavender, and echinacea. So <clears throat> it's a pretty good start. Um, we are going to get more. We're going to get more tomatoes. Uh, we do want to grow a lot of tomatoes and cucumbers. Um, we're going to get some pumpkins, some watermelon, cantaloupe, stuff like that. So this is why I'm kind of going through now, see what we got. We'll make a list of what we still need to get because I want to start it you know, all at once and get it ready. I mean, obviously, we're in March right now. Um, the climate up here in northern Maine is still going to be quite cold, and we're known to get frost right through the end of May sometimes. So um, I know last year we they had a couple good frosts up here and pretty much wiped out everybody's tomato plants or greenhouses. Um, just took a huge loss up here. So it, it was a struggle, but... Uh, hopefully with the greenhouse, we'll get some kind of heat source in there if we need to, um, to keep everything good. But So, you know, that those are the seeds we got now. We're going to um, make a list of everything else we want, make sure that we go get those in the next couple of days. So, and then um, we're going to look at fruit trees later today. And a good place to look at this stuff is check your local um, county conservation district. They should have an office, should be a website. And this time of year, they're generally um, taking orders for trees and plants, stuff like that. So the one up here, we can get fruit trees like apples and pears and peaches. Um, we can get strawberry plants. Uh, you can get blueberry bushes, and raspberries, nut trees, some annuals and perennials when those come, um, and vegetable plants. Um, so you put in your orders now and then they'll call you generally when they're ready you go pick them up um, obviously you're not going to get your vegetable plants and stuff now but your fruit trees and normally you know the price is better if not at least matching what you would pay at most retailers and the fruit trees and stuff like that are local so you, you have a better idea of where they're coming from they're not being shipped out from other states um, that maybe you know not going to be good for your climate whereas you know, th these are normally within the state. So, um, you know, we do need to get seed potatoes still, but it's still quite a bit early for that. We'll probably plant in May, hopefully have an August, early September harvest. So, um, and then tomorrow I will get back to the chicken tractor and we'll start on the potato towers. But today it's really just a good day for planning. Um, and, and it's good to think of think ahead you can't always just you know play off the cuff and you know just go out and start doing a project because then you get four or five projects going and you really that's not really the way you want to do it you want to try to tackle them get them off your list and then uh, you know keep moving forward so so I also want to say that we did hit 100 subscribers this morning. So I would just like to thank everyone who is watching um, and who has subscribed. We do really appreciate it. And we're really excited of, about this journey and everyone that's following it. And we really do hope that you guys can learn something. Um, whether whether maybe it's just the mistakes we make along the way or you know some of our successes, we hope everybody can take some stuff away so I'm gonna do some more planning and looking into ordering up some trees and stuff and we'll go from there so thanks for watching guys hope you all have a good day stay warm